Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the new beta version of the Alpha India Group's AI manager for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's in beta at the moment so um, as you can see at the very bottom of that panel that's right in front of us at the moment it's not the final version and it will slash may contain errors or bugs. I'm going to talk through how to set this up uh, for both offline live traffic using their injector as well the traffic manager that comes with this but also more specifically how to get it working for vats in model matching as well so stay tuned hit subscribe and give us a little like as well so follow all of the steps inside the description down below and uh, those will be the links that you need to follow in order as we work through today's little video to get all of this set up and uh, the very first one is the alpha india groups or aigs website to download the AI manager one click installer or you could just go quite simply to alpha-india.net and it will bring up the main website and you can see here top left AI manager version 1.1 public beta and then on the right hand side for those of you who don't want to use it on BATSIM and you might want live traffic injected uh, then you also need the traffic controller version 0.5 MSFS ready as well so right click both of them open the links uh, I'll download the traffic controller first so you know you've got that installed and put that in a folder where you want to refer to it in the future but also then go to the AI manager version 1.1 give it a little read and then right at the very bottom here in final words you can see the link download the beta here uh, alpha-india.net slash ai-manager and uh, there we go hit this and it opens up another page one click installer this is quite a long process by the way folks so um, it can get quite frustrating at times it's taken me six plus hours to download everything so bear with it stick with it it will be worth it in the end you guys want to download in the very bottom here public beta including Microsoft Flight Simulator support download that get it up and running put it somewhere where you like to refer to it from and then you can open up the AI manager and uh, initially this will all be blank you want to head to settings once you've gone through a couple of clicks uh, to initially open all of this you want to make sure version is set to MSFS 2020 untick pre 2018 OCI flight plans and then the AIG forum you want to hit log on and you want to head into here create a profile so sign up to the Alpha India groups forum get all that sorted close the page then click back in to log in and log back in again uh, and I always tick always stayed logged in head across to flight plans I left most of this all the same to be totally honest and if you want to use traffic connector that we just spoke about you need to click through to wherever it may be saved within your computer folders and then the file path will appear there and then you want to tick that box too but the focus for my channel of course as you guys know and love it's a VAT sim so that's unticked for me because I don't use that myself Click across to cookies and we've got uh, the Alpha India group forum logged in. You want to make sure status says logged in. If not, you've got to click log in there. Go through the steps and then on the AvSim forums as well, you want to log in to. Click yes quite a lot because uh, it doesn't like it at all. And you need to, even if you've got an AvSim account, you need to create a new account for the AvSim library. So go ahead and do that. Follow all the steps until AvSim status shows logged in to. Then across to AIG AIM OCI. Two options at the top. The payware option doesn't really do much for us at the moment because we don't have many uh, available basically. So we're just going to focus on general. You can see it's got my community folder pre selected, the current path of that. If it's not there, then you'll have to select that yourself. Go through a couple of steps to find it. It will not currently let you install it to any other location, sadly, um, which is a little bit frustrating. For those of us like, like myself that use add-on linker and there's a couple of other options as well down the bottom here 
um, showing use ATC file, do not use Orbex, etc. They're all unticked for me. And uh, if you haven't got a current path under general settings for your community folder, the setup button that I'm just hovering over at the moment will be highlighted and will be clickable. That's it. We don't need to worry about these just yet. Once that's done, hit save at the top, close it. I've set a shortcut on the right hand side of my desktop. You want to right click it. Once you've closed the program, you want to run as administrator and then go back through. Then go to flight plans. This page will be completely blank for you guys. You click to online, it will show you all of the options that you've got. Um, for pretty much any airline that you want around the world that you might want to download, whether it for be for live traffic or some fantastic juicy VATS in model matching. Now I've spent six hours, I've downloaded quite a lot of these uh, and I've still got lots to go through as well. So grab a coffee and uh, you'd have to work through it all, take your time. You can click one at a time or you can click say for example Lot Polish Airlines, press and hold control, find another one like Martin Air, uh, find another one and select all the ones that you effectively want to download and install and then once you're happy you've got two options at the very bottom here OCI bulk there's a tick box for skip manual download now a lot of these as you work through them will have um, defunct links so it will get to the point where it install a particular livery and then it will get give you a pop-up and say you can't do it automatically you need to download it manually um, Click it uh, and it will take you to a website on another browser and it will automatically download the file you need. So you just got to wait for that to finish. You don't click anything else until that's done. And then effectively when you see in your downloads folder all of these other things. As you download each package, say for example Raven FS Labs E170s, uh, you'll download that package and then in the pop-up that you've been given you just click OK. It'll automatically see the folder it wants. If not, navigate to where you've downloaded it to, and then you can just continue the install. Give it a double click, and away you go. Uh, for the two here, if I hit OCI bulk. You'll see now we've got another pop up as it works through uh, each airline in turn. And at the very bottom right of the main screen, you can basically see, uh, potentially just about see, a little section of the bottom corner saying bulk install of two airlines because we've selected two in this instance if we selected 60 it would say 60 and then the big box next to that is basically a progress bar so once it's finished lot we should see that progress bar go to 50% green and then we just sit and wait and you can see here it may take a while because it's downloading 43 different lot Polish Airlines liveries uh, and aircraft models. While you're waiting for all of these to download as well, what I would recommend is you go to flysim.to, the link's going to be in the description again, and you want to download a program called Model Matching Magic. Really simple program, I love it, it helps create a custom VMR, and uh, I've covered it on a video previously, and a lot of you know. Uh, those of you who watch regularly will know that that's how I've created my custom VMRs nowadays um, based upon what I've got installed. So I really recommend that. However, I will also be sharing my VMR for this package with all of the main airlines that I've downloaded whenever it's finished on flightsim.to for everybody to just download and give it a go. So hopefully that will help as well. One little side note that's probably worth mentioning is you're going through and downloading all of these different liveries and uh, models. You're going to get quite a lot of these manual install folders in your downloads. Don't be tempted to delete them until you've completely finished everything that you need within it basically because um, these packages will contain lots of different liveries for different models across different airlines. So you might find that by deleting it, you'd have about an hour later you'll have to download it again so leave it all in place and it tends to then work itself out quite nicely uh, and it does cut down on a little bit of the time now you can see here it's just smashed through that second uh, Martin Air really quickly um, as we were just discussing 
the downloads tips. And at the very bottom right now, it says fix OCI sim object com, uh, config files. And that's working through the sim object configuration files of the AIG folder that's in the community folder for Microsoft Flight Simulator, wherever that may be installed for you guys. And uh, it's basically updating it so that it works with the sim. Uh, we've had a couple of tips as well from the community who have used this package previously on P3D and um, a couple of hints that we're going to go through in a second. So we want to go to settings. Go to AIG AIM OCI. And I've been informed that we need to click verify setup and verify texture format. And uh, that will go through and check everything that we've just downloaded apparently. While we're waiting for the very bottom right to clear, it says remove duplicate flight cementes. We can go to wherever we have got model matching magic installed. There we go. For me, it's uh, just here. Here we go. So I've got it routed to FSLN's slash community uh, because that's where I've got it all connected to with add on linker. Uh, but I want to find the AIG packages to make a specific VMR for those. So I'm going to head through my Microsoft Flight Simulator package until I see the folder AIG Traffic OCI Beta. There we go. Up on the top, click it, copy the file path, pop it into there, and hit scan. And then we just wait. There we go. Now you can see here aircraft type, it's a little bit frustrating because not all of them have got aircraft types filled in with these. Uh, for those of you who don't know how model matching magic works, do check out the actual tutorial I've created for this. But in short, anything with a tick might have a problem with it. So um, let's start at the top because that's logical. Boeing 737 MAX 8. If you don't know what uh, aircraft type codes are, Boeing 737 MAX 8 aircraft type code, right into Google. Let that do all the work for you. Usually there's a big old Wikipedia page. There we go, B38M. Copy the first one because it's always easier that way and then work through everything. Now everything we've manually added, crash course of model matching magic, you can see here it's going red. If we don't want to exclude them anymore we can work through all of this and we can untick as we go and that will then allow the program to include these into our model matching magic packages uh, our VMI and uh, be careful as well like I've just done there a little mistake you want to make sure that you're following all of this along as you go there's a couple of max nines there for example so I need to change that to 39M and of course uh, all of these are Embraer's And then you just work through, take your time going through all of that. Of course, if you've downloaded loads and loads of these, then uh, like I have, it can be quite frustrating. And you can see the little collar here is uh, rather vast, but it's picked up most of them. You can see here, it's actually picked up most of them. If you click exclude, it will then give you all of the ones that, that have been done that are in the VMR as a uh, priority. If you click the opposite direction, you'll get all of them that aren't included as a reverse. So you could just work through the lists, uh, which is what I'm going to spend probably the next hour or two doing myself. Once you've done this, of course, boot the sim, fire the sim up. Note that, of course, if you're loading this for the very first time, it's probably going to take quite a long time <laughs> to uh, bring all of this in. Keep an eye out for aircraft ICAO codes that aren't correct, like that, DL 
DHLX. We don't like those. They don't work because uh, they don't exist. And then as always, run vPilot in administrator mode, point the new VMR across. So uh, Matsim or the vPilot client can find this new model matching rule set that we've created. And away we go. That's the gist of the installer anyway and how to get it all working and also do the model matching magic pro stuff. Uh, I hope you guys have really enjoyed it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and if you've got any tips to make this work even better then uh, do share them with the community in the comments section below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give the video a little thumbs up if you've enjoyed it too. As always if you make any changes to the AI manager program don't forget to click the big green save icon on the top right and check out all of my other live streams coming up in the near future as well as all of my VATSIM content across the channel too. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon in a live stream. Take care.